Well, good day, everybody. Craig back at you out on the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Out and about, bittersweet day today. Uh, I believe today is going to be my last ride on my Honda Goldwing, last motorcycle ride for the season. It is mid November and it's just uh, it's good to be out it is 61 degrees a uh, good day today starting tomorrow the the temperatures are going to drop considerably into the freezing range so yeah i don't see much riding after today uh we'll still have the bike in the garage so you know if there's that odd occasion uh to be able to pull the bike out and ride it during the winter um I will look forward to that. I don't anticipate it though just because last year I wasn't able to do it. And even if you do get a somewhat warm day in the winter time, because they put so much salt down on the roads, it's really not the greatest for riding. So this might be it. I anticipate this will be it until maybe March. So a good, I don't know, four or five month uh, respite. Of riding the bike so I'm just gonna ride around kind of my neighborhood for the day been doing some uh, last few weeks been doing a few things to the bike uh, since I haven't been able to ride I have added some lights to the bike I've added the what I term as the old man ring of fire and uh, so yes, I have succumbed to the old man ring of fire and I put it on the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Uh, reason why I call it the old man ring of fire, I think the official name is, uh, you know, the Gold Strike Roto, Roto Cover Lights or something like that, or, or, uh, or Roto, Roto Lights, I don't know, <laughs> I'll throw the, the name of it up there. But just my thing I don't ever see anyone with these type of lights on unless they're at least uh, in their 50s so if you are below the age of 50 you are not by law allowed to have these on your bike you have to wait till you at least reach the age of 50 and then you're designated an old man and you can put the old man ring of fire lights on your bike so I like them a little bit of visibility like I had a previous video uh, that I talked about, I forgot the name of the video, something like, but only the things that only old people do that ride motorcycles, and one of them was adding the the ring of fire. fire. I, I like them. It's good visibility, a good, uh, um, nice look to it without it being too gaudy. I'm just trying to keep it where the lights are nice and uh, they look well, but out without being a total Christmas tree for my bike. So, speaking of trips, what I wanted to talk about during this video beside the old man ring of fire was some of the trips that I went on in 2021. I really had three trips and I really wanted to talk about the costs of my motorcycle trips. Now cost of motorcycle trips is very subjective depending on what you want to spend your money on. You can do motorcycle trips, you know, very inexpensive um, or you can go all out and have a lot of luxury, do a lot of different things and spend a whole lot of money. So I wanted to talk about um, the three trips that I've done this year. The three trips that I've done this year. The first one was to Wingding. Wingding was in Springfield, Missouri. So I did that trip. Uh, second trip I took was down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And the third trip I took was to Americade up, until, up in Lake George. So what I did for the year was I kind of kept track of my receipts, how much I spent in gas, how much I spent in lodging, uh, and uh, and things like that entertainment you know miscellaneous stuff just to kind of keep an idea of, of how much uh, I spent for each trip now it'll give you a gauge uh, of what trips can cost obviously when you do it you do trips it's going to be different depending on what you want to do and uh, so I have that back at the house I have a spreadsheet that I, that I kept and I don't have know the numbers off the top of my head but during this point of the video We'll swing back to the house and I will go over some of the monies that I spent during these trips. So let's go to that. Hey everybody, we're back at the house now. I'm going to take a look at some of the spreadsheets that I've created for the three trips that I did in 2021. First one is Wingding. That was from June 26th to July 4th, total of nine days. And you'll see I broke it down here. For gas, I spent $199.38. Uh, for food, I spent four seventy one seventy nine, four hundred seventy one dollars seventy nine cents. Miscellaneous ninety nine dollars and twenty one cents. 
uh, entertainment forty four dollars, lodging one hundred and four dollars and thirteen cents for a grand total of nine hundred and eighteen dollars and fifty one cents for the trip to Wing Ding. So I point out a few things in this uh, trip. The gas that I had was really just for my gold wing, even though my wife did go on the trip and she took her Can Am Spider. Um, for this spreadsheet, I just kept track of the amount of gas I used uh, for the gold wing. Food four hundred and seventy one dollars. Um, that is high. Uh, you know we that's inclusive of some when we went to walmart bought some food for the condo we were staying in um and or price shopper wherever we went to and bought some food and also some of the places we ate out at there was a you know a total of four of us so we um we when we went out it was my wife myself and and my wife's um uncle and uh, her aunt so sometimes that bill got a little bit higher um which was all good because we saved on the lodging um, but that's why the food bill so i miscellaneous was a little bit of money that i spent at bass pro out in springfield missouri when we went to bass pro and some money that we spent at the wing ding uh, conference itself entertainment the 44 dollars there is what we pay to get into wing ding for two people lodging 104 dollars and 13 cents that was cheap um, and how that worked out was those of you that watched my previous videos know that I do not um, camp or anything. I always stay in a hotel. And uh, for the nine days we locked up in that um, throughout the year, I try to accumulate uh, points with the different hotel chains so I get free nights. And the great thing that happened for us uh, when we were down in and um, we stayed in Branson, Missouri. My wife's aunt and uncle had a condo that they were able to let us use uh, that we could stay in and we, there was no charge for that. So that was fantastic. So typically for a nine day trip, your lodging is gonna be 104, way more than $104. Um, but because we were able to use some free nights and we got some free stays because of my wife's aunt and uncle, that's why that was so low. So total of $918, 51 cents for a trip to Wing Ding, nine days for two people. Um, not bad, not bad at all. Moving on to my Myrtle Beach, South Carolina trip. Now, this was a solo trip uh, that I took. Went uh, last September 3rd and returned on September 6th. So a four-day trip, not a long trip. Uh, gas, $123.67. Again, totally for the gold wing because I'm by myself. Food, $77.07. Uh, miscellaneous, $33.05. I think I went to CVS and bought some things. Parking, we had to pay to park in... Um, one area and it was six dollars and ten cents and the lodging for that again i lucked up the lodging was free i had some points again from some reward nights that i was able to use at some of the the hotels that we stayed at so i didn't pay for lodging at all so that trip was a total of 239 dollars and 89 cents again not bad at all for a four-day trip and last trip of the year americade that went from September 22nd to September 26th, five days. Uh, this one here, gas for the Gold Wing was $78.66. Food was $254.54, a little bit higher. I went to AmeriCade by myself on my motorcycle, but my wife did drive up. So some of the expenses were because it was more than just me. So the $254 uh, was used for me and my wife and eating out myself, you know, eating out at different places. Um, lodging, I didn't have any free nights for this one at all. So the four um, or four nights, five days, four nights I spent in a hotel. Uh, that was $452.88. Uh, miscellaneous, $102.35. That was for some Baker Air Wings that I bought for the Gold Wing when I was at Americade. And then the parking was $15. So that trip, total of $903.43. Uh, so the totals for everything for the three trips, it was a total of 18 days um, for these three trips. Uh, gas, total $401.71. Food, $803.40. You can do a lot better than that, but again, I like to eat at restaurants a lot, so I don't like doing any cooking if I can avoid it. So $803.40 for the food. Miscellaneous, $234.61. Entertainment, $44. Parking, $21.10. Lodging, $557.01 for a grand total of $2,061.83 for the three trips that I took this year. So um, you can do it cheaper, 
you can definitely do it cheaper. You can do it more expensive as well. Um, but I think it wasn't too bad for the enjoyment that I got out of it uh, throughout the summer. Three trips, a total of a little over, total of a little over two thousand dollars. So not bad at all. So what, uh, you know, as I look go looking into um, twenty twenty two right now, I have at least two trips planned. I'm going to do Americade again. Uh, probably will head back down to Myrtle Beach to visit my sister again. Still up in the air about Wingding. Uh, not sure if I'm going to make that trip to Shreveport, Louisiana, but who knows? The weather's nice. You know, getting on the bike and riding. That's a great thing to do. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit of my expenses. Again, depending on what you want to do, how you like to travel. If you're a camper, you like to camp, you can really cut back on some of these expenses. Uh, again, I am a hotel person, but I try to offset that during the year by having some hotel credit cards that I get points on. And even that, I would say I don't, I don't go into debt trying to get points to get free hotel nights. You know, I have my hotel credit cards, it gives me points, but I pay them off um, at the end of the month. So I'm not, you know, carrying any balance on that um, because, you know, it doesn't really help you out if you're if you're paying all this interest, but you get a free night, but you paid all this money in interest and credit card debt. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I hope everybody's having a wonderful time. I hope as we get through the winter, for those of you that are able to ride, Please continue to put the videos out. You know I enjoy to watch it, watching them while we can't ride. And hopefully we'll be getting back out on the bike pretty soon in the spring. Um, for everyone else, if, um, please have a safe and happy uh, holiday. And we will be talking to you soon. God bless.